Hey, hon. So what started out is just washing the roof. Um, I was just gonna wash it because I knew it was nasty. I could, you could hear stuff falling on it. I've peeked up there a few times. It's just nasty stuff coming off these uh, elm trees. You guys know it's all black and nasty. So I just wanted to wash the roof. Well then all the soap's running down the side and making the side look ugly. So we're just gonna wash the whole thing today. Um, shouldn't take too long. Yeah, so we're gonna get it all washed up real quick. That'll give it time to dry. Um, it is a good reminder while I was up there to check your roof and everything. I found a couple of spots where the roof, the roof didn't tear, but some of the coating that we had done had tore up. So I'm just gonna go back and put some Eternabond tape on there. Um, branch must have fallen, hit it or something, just a couple little nicks in it. So it's a good time. Make sure you're inspecting those roofs probably at least once a quarter, probably be a good idea. Um, you can do it more often, but yeah, at least try and do it once a quarter. So that way you don't have any uns not unsuspected. Um, that way you don't have any surprises when water starts running in. So we're gonna get to washing. We ordered a slide topper for our bedroom slide. Um, we, uh, we fixed this leak issue it's no longer leaking it's leaked a couple of times when the floor's gotten a little soft but I, we got it fixed um, but i wanted to put the slide topper on there just for added security i've seen where people mention that when they when they buy a rig that has a slide topper on there that there's usually no water damage around the slides so i figured it couldn't hurt um, we're just doing the bedroom one right now we bought the solera slide topper uh, made by lci lippert um, through e-trailer, not affiliated, no sponsor or anything. Um, just where we got it, where we found the best deal. Um, there's other companies out there that make them, but this time we were really looking for budget. And so picked this whole kit up for around 500 bucks. Um, looks pretty simple. We already had the drip rail mounted above our slide that it will accept the um, awning fabric. It's already got the panel for that. So we're gonna have to be able to skip that step, but it looks like very simple instructions. I think we'll be able to knock this out within an hour. I was looking through the instructions. One thing I noticed, it didn't mention anything about butyl tape. Um, if you guys haven't ever used it, just kind of like uh, little putty stuff. But I put it on the back of anything I'm mounting to the camper, put it where the screws are gonna go through. That way when the screws go through it, it kind of creates a watertight seal. So we're gonna use that as well. In addition, um, I don't think we need too many tools to drill. We got the little bolt kit there. They look like they are the square heads on there. Um, it's like really about it. So we're gonna get going. Shouldn't take us too long, I wouldn't imagine. Okay, first step is normally to put this awning rail on. I don't know if you can see, it's got a channel. Um, the awning fabric has this little guy that will slide through that the channel there. But we lucked out, our rig already has it pretty much prepped up there. Um, I don't really know why it's up there except for to put slide toppers on. So we lucked out, um, you can see it, this, it's got the little gutter on this end, but it runs all the way across and it's got that channel for the slide fabric or the awning fabric to go in there. So we lucked out there. Um, the next step is to put these extension rods on they mount to the ends here. You can see there's a hole right there for a screw to go in. 
and that's going to line up with the hole that's right here. Um, you are also going to need this end cap piece. And let's see it's slotted right there. And that slot, when you put it in there, is going to line up with that hole. So that when you run your screw in, it has something to kind of press against. Put that in there. You can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but you can see the channel in there. And then that, I'm going to put in here. And make sure that the holes line up. And then it takes one of these screws here. So we're going to run those in. Tighten them up and be ready to go. All right, next step, we got to put these brackets in. Um, if you can see it, there's a little bit of a flat spot right here above the channel that goes pointed up. These go in each corner on the top of the slide. This is where I'm going to use that butyl tape. I'm going to put it here along the back and cover these holes. It just kind of creates a little watertight seal around those. It can't hurt, right? So I'd rather. Be a little more precautious than not. And when you tighten it down, it'll squeeze out a little bit, and then you can take the excess off of there. Okay, these just go up in the corner of where your trim meets. This thing about that butyl tape kind of holds it in place. So you don't have to try and hold it. I gotta put the square tip bit on it. Okay, we gotta install these brackets. They slide right on those plates that we just put in. Uh, there's two different positions. You can do a high position or low position, just depending on the trim on your slide, what kind of clearance you need. I think looking at ours, we got a pretty tall trim. So I think we're probably gonna, we're gonna start out in the high position, see how that works. And if we can lower it, we'll lower it. But you're just putting them on there. Um, they slide in the grooves. We're not gonna pass them down or anything, so we're gonna need to adjust them once we get the fabric up there. So I'll throw those up real quick and then it's time to put the fabric up. Mommy, you want to crack the whole thing down? No, don't crack it down. So it's going in this rail? We're sliding it across, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't think this is right, Jordan. What? It's all this. Okay, so from here over is what you want? No, from the inside of that arm to the outside edge of the slide. Of the arm that's hanging down. From here? Yeah. And okay. The put on that inside the and there's the inch and a half. You have three inches? So we have five inches, so we need two and a half. So you have like, yeah, keep going. A little more, right there. And that's these little black things, these things. Yeah. I look a little hot, it's cause I am. Smoking. It's hot and humid here. I'm not used to this humidity. So, we got it up there, we got our Brackets all secured. We had a little issue with that one. Drilled it out, put a self tapper in there, we're all good. Um, so now we just gotta pull the spring retainer clips. There's one on each end. It should suck up that slack. 
and then the next step is going to be run the slide in and out a few times make sure it's fully retracting all the way and then it helps line up the fabric in that channel once we do that then we'll go in and we'll put a couple screws on each end of the fabric to hold it into place so super simple install it's just hot and humid and muggy i'm sweating a lot all right i did the spring retainer clips forgot to record it it wasn't exciting Rick's gonna go run the slide out in and out a couple times get that fabric lined up and uh yeah should be good to go super stoked about this this is gonna be cool Hopefully save us a lot of headaches. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, see in the fabric, I don't know if you can see, but it literally comes to about right here. So it's covering up the rails and stuff on that Schwintex system, which is what we are suspecting is our leak. But our slide rollers, look at those babies. If you want to see the video on those, hit the link. So, what'd you think? Me? Yeah, was it easy? Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, why did I ask? <laughs> Me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, anybody can do it. It's easy to do. The only trouble with the, if you're full time or trying to do it is finding two ladders to do it. Um, luckily, we work for the campground, and so we get to use the campground's ladders. Um, but they won't loan them out to anybody else. Yeah, they else. don't loan them out to guests. So, maybe some parks do. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's the, really the only issue. Other than that, it was a screwdriver with like a flathead, an Allen wrench. I struggled with the self tapper. And nice yeah, scrawny little was, arms, but you know. It was easy. Um, we should have timed it, but it was probably an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, but we stopped 27 times. Yeah. Stop shaking. So it was easy. Yeah. And now we need something cold, cold yeah. beverage, some ice. Yep, it's hot. It's hot. I'm going to go ahead and do the slide seals now the protectant it's good to do that every so often um, just keeps them from drying out and stuff since they're out in the sun all day and they're expensive to replace yes they are take care of them <laughs> it's really handy too because it keeps all the debris and stuff off your slides so you don't have to get up there and sweep your slides off when you go to leave something mm -hmm. so that's kind of a cool benefit and then it keeps the water off it keeps the water from hitting your seals potentially coming in the camper keeps the sun off those seals up there yeah so there's a lot, lot of, of a lot of benefits for it and i'm sure they're all worth their money um we just Graham got the drill there's just uh it was just out of the budget right out now the budget to do them all at once so we got one done maybe we'll do another one here in a few months or something and so if you need an accountant jordan's looking for work so that he can pay for a new slide topper 